All right, well, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, so I'm here to talk about Arthur. It's a new uh, experimental test bed that Sandia just accepted uh, from APRO. Uh, it's a kind of unique. It's a, a first of a kind system. It has 24 Intel uh, Knights Ferry coprocessors. And uh, oh, I, I do want to acknowledge a, a lot of people that have been working on this system. Uh, uh, listed are some of my colleagues from Sandia. Uh, Paul Woodward and his team from the University of Minnesota. Uh, several people from uh, Intel and uh, of course APRO International. So thank, I, like, I do thank everyone that has been working on this uh, project for us. Um, probably most of you are familiar already with the uh, Intel Knights Ferry uh, coprocessor. Uh, the system, um, again, uh, was accepted by Sandia uh, just the end of September. So we've had the system for about six weeks now, um, and we do have a few results to, sh to share with you. Um, uh, this, uh, this view graph summarizes some of the pertinent facts on, on uh, the uh, Knights, Knights uh, Ferry coprocessor. It's also called uh, the Aubrey Isle uh, system by uh, Intel. Uh, some of the main things to point out are, uh, in addition to the uh, coprocessors, the system has a pair of uh, uh, Westmere uh, CPUs on each node. Um, memory is uh, 24 gigabytes of, of memory for the CPUs and uh, two gigabytes per, uh, per Knights Ferry card uh, on the uh, coprocessor. Uh, the interconnection network for the system is uh, InfiniBand QDR. Um, uh, we also plan to upgrade the CPUs in uh, early 2012 to uh, uh, Sandy Bridge uh, EP processors. And uh, sometime in 2012, uh, pending availability from Intel, we will upgrade the uh, Knights Ferry uh, co-processors to Knight's Corner. Um, um, oh, and in Intel would want me to stress that these would be pre-production uh, Knight's Corner co-processors. Just to prove it's a real system, these are some photographs of the uh, system in our machine room in Sandia. Uh, uh, and again, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Matt Bonzak for uh, the this diagram and the diagram on the next slide. and. Uh, uh, Victor Coons for these photographs. Just a simple diagram to show the uh, the interconnection network layout for uh, the InfiniBand QDR. Uh, nothing unusual here, but uh, um, uh, basic technology that we have on many of our Linux clusters. Uh, this view graph summarizes some of the testbed experiments that we plan to use the the Arthur system for. Uh, starting at the top. Uh, we have a number of uh, proxy applications that are under development at Sandia. These are open source. Uh, they're intended to characterize uh, how our real applications use uh, hardware performance char uh, characteristics that, that will be provided by current and, and new uh, hardware architectures. Um, uh, what we um, have done is place many of these uh, mini applications on this uh, uh, open website. Uh, they're available for collaborators to download, uh, whether they're in industry or at universities or other national labs. Um, what we will do and are doing is um, to use these mini apps to investigate uh, um, how um, we can use different programming models to re-implement uh, again, these critical um, algorithms and, and uh, um, you know, key uh, computational kernels with different programming models. Again, we want to, to use these mini apps for Arthur to, to now understand uh, ad advanced data movement options that, that can be supported where we want to move data between uh, heterogeneous nodes. Uh, between the CPUs and the GPUs and vice versa. We're also working with Intel and 
uh, the University of Minnesota's uh, uh, PPM team. Uh, this is Paul Woodward's team. Uh, they've developed this uh, uh, gas dynamics uh, compressible CFD application. It's been very useful as a as a early adopter application, a real application uh, that uh, Paul's team has implemented on many um, advanced architectures. So uh, I'll actually have a few slides to uh, to showcase some early results from Paul's team. Third category of experiments that we are, are intending to pursue, we haven't done this yet, um, is actually to uh, use Arthur as a test bed for validation of our uh, SST structural simulation toolkit um, uh, architectural simulation results. And uh, by this I mean that um, we're, we're developing a set of, again, open source tools uh, for analyzing uh, um, uh, heterogeneous node architectures. And uh, we want to compare then test results with things like our Mantivo mini applications on the actual test bed, uh, compare them with uh, uh, simulation results for uh, models of the same advanced architectures. Um, again, the website here is listed here for uh, the open source distribution of our SST simulator. Um, and then finally, fourth area of, of experiments, it has to do with system software R&D. And in this area, we're looking at uh, um, software capabilities like uh, portals, uh, data movement library, uh, our kitten, our work in kitten lightweight kernel and, and runtime system software. And then uh, finally, experiments to uh, explore uh, runtime support for power management capabilities. Just to move, move directly into some simulation results, uh, this is an image uh, again, from Paul Woodward's team, uh, this is a PPM uh, simulation result. And what you're seeing here is a, a, a snapshot, an early time of uh, this, what they call an unstable slip service problem. Uh, this is a single phase fluid dynamics uh, gas problem. Uh, there's some small perturbations that are, uh, you can see as those, as those, uh, uh, horizontal lines. Um, basically, um, if I understand correctly, uh, there's a shear layer that, that's being formed as, as uh, uh, some high velocity um, uh, gas is moving over this, this surface. And uh, I do want to just step through a few snapshots of this simulation as it evolves over time. And as noted, the simulation result was uh, performed on, on um, Arthur using uh, eight Knights Ferry carts. I actually don't have the data on, uh, uh, from Paul on how far uh, in time this is in real time, but, um, but you can see how this uh, turbulence uh, for the CFD simulation evolves. And uh, then the last image. And with that, I think I am done. <laughs>